I don't think I've seen you this excited. I know. I, 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 the, I'm, we, I'm, I'm, I'm we very excited. We brought our own plants from home. And I love <laughs> Hilton. how excited we I are. I love Hilton, the plant expert. So this week and start today, we've been focusing on living well. And a lot of people just, you know, they just feel better when they yeah. have plants in their home, myself True. included. But if you don't have a green thumb, we've got some help this morning. Magnolia Network's Hilton Carter. He's an author, but he's also a plant stylist. Yes, that is a thing. He's a plant expert, and he's here to share some common problems and some fixes. And as Dylan mentioned, we brought in uh, some of our own plants that are in need of some, some therapy. We'll get to that in just a moment. But first of all, you know, a lot of folks probably got a plant for Christmas, for a holiday. For, for sure. folks who are watching or listening that may have gotten something like that as a gift, any just generic advice? Well, first thing is to understand that if someone is struggling when they get a new plant, that everyone's struggling this time of year because okay. mm. there's less light, mm. it's colder, so your plants are going to have that sort of uh, push back to what is going on. So they're going to lose a little bit of that growth. Plus with heating, is heating, that a problem too? If you have a plant next to like a radiator or next to a vent, that mm. is not going to be a good thing. It'll start to lose foliage that way as well. Okay, because so I was going to say, even for things. people who are more experienced, I feel like in the winter it's a little harder. It's a struggle for me as well, and it's understanding that you have to anticipate that and start to maneuver your plants mm -hmm. to brighter spots in your home mm -hmm. okay. to even provide as we have here like grow lights oh. you have to start providing things like because if it's cold it's going to be drier in your home mm -hmm. moisture that's meter what you that's can buy a, a light that's just uh, to help the so how does this work just... this is a moisture meter you just take it you place it in a your moisture soil meter? moisture meters it tells you how moist your soil is hmm. you know what joy was talking about water she kept saying water 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 that's the same thing for your plants but this time of year you want to kind of pull step, back from that oh, step back, back. Mm -hmm. because some of your plants are going to the soil is going to stay moist longer because it's not Air as corn. warm in yeah. your home. Ah. Gotcha. so that's where a lot of newbies kind of lose themselves I would think in the opposite because I'm mm -hmm. dry so I would think my plants are dry. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah, you got you to be well aware of that yeah, we this time of year. Well, let's talk about what's over here. Dylan and I are inspired by this. We've decided that we'll have more plants. You so like can walk around the house with you, something like you this. You can take this mister and either mist Look yourself. I know, she right? Said, I'm not going like, to get you. No, just watch out. <laughs> or, or you can mist your plants. Now, that is just adding humidity. Mm -hmm. uh, the same thing with adding humidifiers. You do it to the leaves or the you soil? You do it to the leaves. Now, a plant like this you wouldn't want to mist because it's a desert plant. It likes to be a bit dry. But a ficus like this guy here, or this philodendron there, those are trop more tropical plants. Mm. They will love that humidity. So misting I them, love that. making sure that you're giving them that sort okay. of environment. And you like that because that's the name of your kid's book. Oh, that's true. <laughs> the cloud on sale now. So in terms of troubleshooting, <laughs> some other troubleshooting. Yeah, these uh, are you guys. Troubleshooting. Really you try repotting, adjust the light. What else? Right now, no repotting. Okay, you no repotting. Right no okay. repotting at this very moment. You want to make sure that your plants are staying in the pots that they are in. Okay. Repotting during spring Apparently. and summer is the best time because that's when your plants are mm -hmm. excited to grow, and that's when you want to do it. What's with the test right. tubes? What's with the test tubes? What is with them? Well, these are for propagating plants. Now, oh, a struggling oh, okay. plant like this, I wouldn't propagate this. I would actually take these shears, yeah. see if I can get this out, I have lots of literally plants cut like them off. Oh, just cut off but the if it was really struggling, I would cut a plant like this below what we call the node. There's a little bump there. Uh -huh. You place that in water, and over time, roots will grow, and you can oh, pot and it. And then start all over? Start all over. Start all over. Or gift it to a friend. Well, speaking of gifts, Hilton, you gifted me this olive tree last oh, time you we were here. Oh, you were so here. excited when you and got it. I was it. so excited, and I... I, I should, hope you're still excited. I'm still excited, but I just don't think I'm doing it right. <laughs> you know it what? It just doesn't it's look... It's the it Charlie beautiful. Brown of olive trees. <laughs> hey, hey, everyone. And I brush against it, and the leaf falls off. Like, well, what should it look like? I will say that, honestly, this olive tree is going to need more... More light, direct sun would be great, or okay. a lot of bright and direct light, but it's also going to need more moisture. Now, depending on where you have it in your home, mm -hmm. if it's a kitchen, that would be great because it's probably getting uh, close or pl placed close to a place for water, so okay. it reminds you to water it, but you're definitely going to need to water it more, maybe getting but a moisture But I was worried meter. about overwatering it. Well, I would say stick a moisture meter in there, see where it uh, sits with, mm -hmm. when it comes to moisture, and yeah. then you'll be good for that. How about Craig's okay, ficus so tree? Come back. And Craig that brought this from down okay. the steps, he brought, right? He brought uh, this It was upstairs in, in the bedroom. Craig, I saw images of this particular plant. You've actually emailed me about this. <laughs> That's okay. how concerned you are. I am. I love that you brought it here. As much, uh, I would say, um, pain that you feel and maybe your wife feels about this plant, mm -hmm. it's not that bad. Oh. What's you hear that, is, sweetie? You don't have to get rid of this plant. <laughs> it's not doing that bad. It just needs a little bit more care. Now, we're talking about living well. Happy, you know the, uh, the saying, happy wife, happy, happy life? Uh -huh. I know it well. Well, happy plant, happy you. I will definitely happy say plant, that. Happy man. So you want 
<laughs> there it is. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you're providing it more moisture. I can tell by the fact. Do you the cut you the brown part leaf. off? I've you always wondered totally about that. Totally cut the brown parts oh. out. It's huh. not going to harm the plant. It's going to make it look better. But also this time of year, rotating your plants, yeah. wiping the leaves down. You have a lot of moisture yeah. building up there. Wipe the leaves down. But in your room, I will say in your bedroom there, you might want to move your chair a bit forward and place your plant in between those two windows oh. so this fiddle can get all of that good Very light. Cool. And now you're kind of exactly sitting in oh, that's a, a great space idea. versus okay. just, yeah. you know, right. being right so butted next to it. And Let's you might want to try this. not changing in front of it. Shut up. Let's <laughs> revisit. So, so good having months. you back. So Let's great see how these look in three months. Yeah. 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 Bring it back in three months. Let's talk about it. I love that you text him your plant questions. I do. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, he's an expert. Hey, oh. don't leave me alone. That's, oh, it's Craig. He That's what he does. Question. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.